Shivanajam, congratulations uh, for your success in the uh, civil service examination of 2021 uh, for your secured rank of <coughs> 87th. Uh, Thank you. you have graduated in NIT Tirchi. Yes, sir. Okay. And many people may opt for a good career opportunity in engineering. Yes, sir. But why you choose for civil service? What is the reason behind that? Uh, it was a passion towards public service and to serve the society, sir. I, I personally feel very associated with education. And as an engineer, to work in education, out of all the options available to me, civil services look like the best option because I may get to work in education, but I would still be serving the society in every other field that any uh, officer would be uh, posted in. Okay. So, is there is any interesting story behind for choosing uh, IAS as an option uh, by you? Uh, yes, sir. I chose IAS as my first option because of the diversity it offers yeah. and the... Um, and the big level picture that you need to understand to oh. set in systems and processes oh. that will help uh, improve public access to services. Okay. So, as a computer science student, as oh. student, I'm very interested in system thinking okay. and system design. Okay. And just like how we are taught to mm. s uh, design systems for a machine, mm. designing systems for public administration was something mm. I was captivated by. Okay. Okay. Tell me, tell me, and uh, share your experience regarding the success story. Yes, sir. Uh, so, I was uh, working in an MNC in Bangalore uh, after my graduation. Okay. And then during Corona time, okay. I decided to resign from my job and okay. uh, prepare for civil services. Oh. So, I resigned and started my preparation from August 2020. Okay. And my prelims attempt was on October 2021. Yeah. So, that was my preparation schedule. Okay. So, after uh, starting to prepare, I had a 10-month plan mm. to cover all the syllabus. Mm. So, I was very clear as to what to be read and what should not be read okay and then since i had a 10 month plan okay i just ensured that my plan was going as per whatever i had planned before okay and then i used mock exams and other mm. test series to okay. uh, ensure that okay whatever i've read i've read properly okay it was like a validation mechanism mm -hmm. so mm. since i had this plan it went on and it, i came to prelims and prelims i prelims i was very scared if i would pass or not okay the 25 days or 23 days okay after which the prelims results came it was okay. a very difficult time mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. i knew i was only in the on the border of uh, the prelims cut off marks yes yes uh, so once prelims got over those 23 days i did not study also okay but just because i had planned before and studied everything i was able to cover syllabus for mains mm -hmm. after after the results came out for prelims mm -hmm. uh, so uh, that way my optional sociology also uh, the, sim the syllabus is very bounded, mm -hmm. so it was easy for me to cover the whole syllabus in three months. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay, fine. So I think it's a very, uh, you are strategically approached yes, the examination sir. in every stage, in the prelims, in the mains, and in the interview, yes, I think so. Okay. How you are associated with Shankarai's Academy? Uh, sir. In uh, success. Uh, so, in, uh, in Shankarai, yes, I had opted for the sociology test series for optional, and then I also took interview guidance from Shankar, sir. Okay. Uh, so, these two programs really helped me score, uh, like improve my marks in sociology optional and to score a very high marks in uh, interview. Okay. Uh, <coughs> Shivana, I came to know that you have scored uh, 277 marks in sociology. Yes, sir. Okay. And also, I uh, came to know that and congratulate you that you were one of the topper in paper one in sociology. You scored 152. Yes, what is the success behind that? for uh, getting such a high mark in All India level. One of the high All India, I think so. Now, what is the success? What is the reason behind that? How? Uh, sir, uh, while preparing for mains or even before prelims, I was very sure as to what can be written on a paper to make marks. More than knowledge, if I cannot reproduce it in the exam paper, then irrespective of whatever I know, on paper I would look like I do not know, uh, I do not know sociology enough. So, because of that, I chose one single book for my preparation, which was Nitin Sangwan's Essential Sociology, and that book is my sociology guide. So, that formed the uh, staple content I'm writing on the paper, and I have two classmate notebooks worth of notes. Okay. One for paper one, one for paper two. Okay. Both came from Nitin Sangwan's okay. Essential Sociology book. Okay. Uh, with that, so this is my staple content to okay. write, and for answer enrichment, hmm. I used Shankar's test series to get okay. points. Okay. So, once the basic content is ready, okay. to get those extra marks, hmm. I added the points from the test series. Okay. The answer sheets that were given for the test series were 
where, were having exhaustive content mm. and i took only the content that was necessary for me to enrich my answers okay so that is how the test series helped me sir okay uh, see how the faculty have given the feedback what are the benefits you get it from the faculty uh, regarding the test batch series uh, sir uh, with respect to sociology uh, it is possible for you to write a sociological answer even without a sociological background mm. so it is necessary to understand that uh, what we write is academic in nature because the optional papers require require a graduation level of uh, subject expertise uh, since sociology commonly overlaps with a lot of common sensical uh, ideas it is it is easy for you to deviate and move away from the academic lenses of sociology mm. so that is where test series and feedback help okay so you may be a very strong sociologist okay. but on paper it has to be academic for the optional papers okay so in that way it was very useful sir okay 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 Ah, uh, <coughs> Shivan. Yes, sir. Uh, in the interview, I came to know that you are the second All India topper who got two hundred and five marks, yes, which is a very highest mark uh, in this year. Uh, how uh, how it was possible for you to uh, get such a huge mark, and what is the uh, success behind that? Yes, sir. So interview, even I am surprised that I scored more than two hundred. because my expectation was a mark between 180 to 190 okay <laughs> so that was because i knew my interview went well okay uh, but there were my low moments in the interview also okay. along with my high moments uh, so because of that i, I predicted that i'll get 180 to 190 205 is an uh, is a surprisingly good score okay. that has pushed me into top 100 so mm. i'm very grateful uh, mm. to my interview performance mm. and the panelists mm. uh, so how how was i able to score is because uh, i see it in three ways sir okay uh one uh, the sessions i took up for one on one daf sessions in shankar mm. they helped me understand my daf better okay so i knew that my da- in my daf there are some places where i have uh, very strong points which would it should uh, reflect uh, my good qualities and all my work experience and everything okay so all those were brainstormed and having one on one personal sessions a few times really helped me uh, be very confident about my daf <laughs> okay that is one second is improving my formal conversation abilities okay do i i have always known that i am good at uh, speaking in public speaking it is necessary to understand the nuances of formal communication okay uh, it is necessary for us to understand that we are going to be interviewed by a panel of senior bureaucrats mm. very senior people mm. so but they are expecting to have a purposeful conversation okay okay so there is a slight difference mm. it's it's not like being a yes man or a no man mm. instead we have to give them opinions but in a very respectful manner okay show your personality without offending anyone in society mm, 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 so mm. that that formalization of communication okay. it comes by practice and uh, that is what uh, that that is what shankar ias also helped me with sir well. with respect to the uh, mock interviews okay. Uh, okay apart from this i also add some unique points in my daf okay. which was highlighted by uh, faculties in uh, shankar hmm. and it helped me uh, showcase myself in a much better light okay okay so these are the things success for you to uh, get the all india second yes. topper yes okay sir. okay uh, shivan and tell me uh, in the civil service preparation uh, some people are saying that uh, paper newspaper reading is not necessary some people are going for the digital platform of various youtubes and other things or that and how newspaper reading is helpful for the uh, a civil servant aspirant yes sir so it is necessary for me to clear that i have always had a habit of reading the newspaper just not from an exam point of view but i used to read it regularly in my college days with respect to the examination it is very necessary to read the newspaper for three reasons sir because the current affairs material itself you can get it consolidated from any coaching center or from youtube videos but end of the day in the exam we have to write to write we have to read because while reading only will be able to comprehend and with the comprehension improves our writing ability okay so this process is very important mm. to read comprehend and to produce it in your writing okay so this comes up by reading the newspaper because reading a book means it's a specific uh, subject matter okay a newspaper is very broad mm. and you t- tend to read content from very different fields mm. from just a newspaper yes so the very first time when i started like the very first time i started reading the newspaper from an exam point of view mm. it took me 3 and 1/2 hours to complete the newspaper yes okay that was the first day okay one month down the line it became 1 hour okay and close to my prelims exam it was less than half an hour okay 
it improves your comprehension because you keep reading fast okay and you are able to retain more information mm. and write more information mm, mm. so this is where the whole uh, newspaper reading cycle helps sir okay. so it is ultimately necessary because if we cannot write what we read mm. then it will not translate into what we present to the examiner okay if it does not get translated then we are not in the competition of this exam so initially newspaper reading seems to be difficult yes sir. but in the down end it would be very useful yes, it sir. in every stage of the uh, civil service preparation yes sir okay fine and some people are saying that uh, sir i used to uh, underline in the notes and some people are saying as i i usually memorize the point and i used to get those points in the while writing in the paper and some majority of the people say that sir no sir i usually make a notes of it and i keep my personal notes of everything and i uh, revise it during the time of the examination tell me what kind of strategy you say for the future aspirants regarding the notes preparation uh, what would be the best line of help for the future aspirants yes sir so with respect to notes making i am very traditional in my approach okay so how i approached it was how i did my 12th standard okay uh, so my whole point was read the book once okay while you read the book make notes okay. in a classmate long size notebook okay i had one classmate notebook for mm. one subject mm. so when i completed lakshmikant mm. all the important content of lakshmikant mm. were, were written down in a single classmate notebook okay fine. i cannot read lakshmikant in 5 hours <laughs> fine definitely <laughs> definitely it's not possible my, but my notes i can complete it in 5 hours okay because it's just one classmate book of mm. uh, 150 pages maximum okay so when i do this for every subject mm. in my 10 month plan mm. at the end of 10 month mm. i may have like 10 12 classmate notebooks okay which is the only notes i will read okay i will never go back to the original source book okay. because we don't have the time yes. due to the vastness of the syllabus okay so it is very necessary to make notes okay. in one way or the other okay unless in other ways you have other ways of remembering uh, information because reading from the source book is time consuming and just before prelims if you want to revise the whole syllabus in one week it has to be in six or seven classmate notebooks okay. so in that case if you want some statistics from my side uh, polity i had one classmate notebook ancient medieval put together from ncrts it was one classmate notebook okay. spectrum modern india was one classmate notebook environment science and tech and uh, uh, environment science and tech economics all three put together was one <laughs> class okay. <metro> notebook <laughs> right. okay so you uh. precisely make everything into one single paper notebook <laughs> yes sir okay. the consolidation of information is necessary to recollect okay flipping papers help you remember content mm. instead of uh, having screens okay. that come up in your tablet or any electronic device mm. Mm. so this is because of the uh, scrolling effect mm. because when you scroll everything is presented on the same screen So our mind cannot map what is there on which screen because it's it's the same screen you see, but when you flip papers, yes. sometimes you remember the page number and from there you feel like going on a route okay. and finding the information you want. Yes, but because we have been going through that paper so many times, uh, yes, sir. number of times we are going through that, so automatically. Uh, Picture, pictorial memory we yes, get sir. into it so automatically we can get into the mind because of this one once we see the questions we can able to get recollected very easily yes sir okay that is a success uh, uh, behind that yes sir that is why uh, i call myself having a very traditional approach okay <laughs> so according to you the suggestion is making notes yes sir. that is the thing best way of uh, going through going through the textbook at the last time of uh, revisions and other thing okay see some people <coughs> uh are saying that difficulty in uh, notes making is it is uh, very good of going through that uh, at the last minute notes, notes of other people other, uh, uh in the last minute i would not at all suggest mm-hmm. the last minute is only for you to recollect what you have read okay not someone else has read okay uh, but before you come to your last phase of the preparation mm. consulting or using someone else's notes mm. to write your own mm. is acceptable okay but w- another person's note cannot be the substitute for uh, your preparation mm. importantly because if you copy the old notes with your hand on the book that you write then that leads to retention of the content but if it is someone else's notes then you will not form the logics that will connect a point after the other point and after the other point so if you can use their notes make your own it is very much appreciated but directly using someone else's is not good in the last moment 
ಶಿವನ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ರೆಡಿಟ್ ಟು ಈಸ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ದಿ ಪ್ರಿಲೈಮ್ಸ್ ಮೈನ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಗಾಡ್ ಸರ್ವಿಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಅಟೆಂಪ್ಟ್ ಎಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ರೀಸನ್ ಫಾರ್ ಕ್ಲಿಯರಿಂಗ್ ದ ಪ್ರಿಲಮ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಅಟೆಂಪ್ಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಸ್ಟ್ರಾಟಜಿ ಯು ಮೇಕ್ ಇಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ಪ್ರಿಲಮ್ಸ್ ಸರ್ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಆಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ದಟ್ ಐ ವಾಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಇಫ್ ಐ ವುಡ್ ಪಾಸ್ ಪ್ರಿಲಮ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಪಾಸ್ ಪ್ರಿಲಮ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಯರ್ ದೇರ್ ವೇರ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಲೆವೆನ್ ಟ್ವೆಲ್ ಕ್ವೆಶನ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ವಿಚ್ ವಿ ಡೆಂಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಎ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಕಟ್ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಲೈಕ್ ನೌ ಯು ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಕೇಸ್ ಕಮ್ ಔಟ್ ಸೊ ದೇ ಎಸ್ ಅನ್ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಬಟ್ ಡ್ಯೂರಿಂಗ್ ದಿ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮ್ ವಿ ಡೆಂಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಐ ವಾಸ್ ಸ್ಟಕ್ ವಿತ್ ಆಲ್ ದೋಸ್ ಲೆವೆನ್ ಕ್ವೆಶನ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ ಕುಡ್ ಗೋ ಐ ಕುಡ್ ಬಿ ವೆರಿ ಅಬೌ ಲೈಕ್ ವೆರಿ ಮಚ್ ಅಬೌ ದಿ ಕಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಆರ್ ಇಫ್ ಆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕ್ವೆಶನ್ಸ್ ಗೋ ರಾಂಗ್ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ನಾಟ್ ಬಿ passing the exam so this is the problem i faced with prelims and okay. i feel it is the toughest exam okay of the whole process okay so my strategy was very simple sir mm. i told myself i will attend 90 questions mm. so that means i can get 30 questions wrong mm. and 60 questions right okay cumulatively my total would be 100 okay and 100 is the cut off okay or at least i assume that 100 is the cut off okay. so that's how my calculation works okay so this way when for every question 10 questions i attend in prelims mm. i saw can i get six questions right okay i can leave one question i can go wrong in three questions mm. so for every 10 question i completed in the exam hall mm. i just did the small calculation on the side to keep my confidence up mm. to see okay this six can go right these three may go wrong or this i'm not attending so when i had this uh, when i saw the whole paper into 10 sets of 10 question each and every 10 questions if i have a six three one mm. six correct three wrong and one i will not okay. attend Mm. it it helped me go through the paper fast and i was very confident that okay till now i am still there in the competition okay. so i just kept doing it and uh, uh, luckily or fortunately i passed prelims okay my uh, prelims marks are not yet out okay. because of the uh, forest service results okay uh, see some people are saying that attending minimum questions in the general studies part for example to say uh, i attend only 60 questions 65 questions 70 questions some people say that no no uh, i attend 90 questions 95 questions what mm-hmm. do you suggestion whether we have go, go whether we have to go for targeted approach like 60 questions mm-hmm. or we have to go with the full uh, approach of 90 questions uh, of attending the out of 100 questions what is your suggestion so i have had this doubt sir mm. uh, so i have met people on both sides of the spectrum okay so i have met people who attend 60 questions and get 58 right okay yes uh, that's exemplarily good mm. uh, i have tried it once mm. it didn't work for me <laughs> okay uh, so i told that okay then i also checked some statistics mm. based on the past percentages of the previous years and whatever anecdotes we have on mm. the internet mm. the number of people who can attempt 60 question and get 58 right mm. are very low mm. because th- th- there's a special method to what is being done with the targeted uh, approach in prelims which i am not able to understand mm. so in that case i believe that a majority of the aspirants who are passing prelims would be going with the attempt 90 questions and get 60 right okay because that way your risk is spread out okay. into 90 questions okay and s- getting 60 right out of 90 is easier than getting 58 right out of 60 okay because in both cases we need to pass the cut off mm. it is not required for the final uh, okay. uh, rank calculation okay see nowadays csat is getting more and more difficult yes sir. okay so how we have to handle the csat how we have to take csat because the uh, in every stage either one part of csat is getting difficult either the comprehension part or with the reasoning part or pons part it is getting difficult uh, what is your advice for the future aspirants regarding the csat uh, sir i I believe CSAT uh, with its aptitude and uh, comprehension questions uh, has, has a lot of easy questions spread out across the paper. What makes the paper itself difficult is the uh, time constraint to solve 80 questions in 2 hours. Mm. But the questions themselves are not extremely difficult. Mm. Uh, so if we can identify some strong areas and be uh, really good at solving those questions fast mm. and then take a targeted approach in CSAT mm. so that we don't commit any negative mistake, mistakes mm. and get a negative mark mm. then we can easily cross the cutoff of uh, 70 marks let's keep the cutoff at 70 percent se- mm. 70 marks mm. so crossing 70 needs only 30 35 questions mm. out of 80 mm. so that should be for a year we can go for a targeted approach okay take only 50 questions okay. solve 35 okay so that way since there's only one answer mm. mathematics has only one answer mm-hmm. you can be very clear that the answer you are giving is the right answer okay so having a higher uh, uh, success rate or uh, hit rate mm. can help us save a lot of time and save a lot of uh, uh, hard take with respect to csat okay okay fine 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 shivan and tell me 
you have cleared uh, the uh, mains examination the first attempt itself how you completed the all four papers in a three hours duration what is the strategy you have uh, framed yes sir so in the exam hall i i i used the same watch i'm wearing now the analog watch okay but i would keep seeing the watch at the end of every question okay for me a 10 mark question should be completed in 7 minutes okay and a 15 mark question in 11 minutes mm. so that was a time frame so at every 7th minute i would keep looking at the watch it became a kind of a, a biological reaction or a or something that i've learned over the mock exams to just keep checking okay 35 minutes have passed i should have completed five questions if i was not completing a question then i ensured i was writing lesser words for a question and catching up with the time mm-hmm. because one has to attend all questions mm-hmm. leaving out a question uh, is very risky okay uh, so this is something i did in the exam hall uh, mm. to ensure i was attending all the questions mm. and giving all questions equal weightage okay because uh, getting a 4 uh, in all all 10 mark question and getting a 6 in all 15 mark question mm. means my single paper mark would be 100 mm. which mm. is what we are all aiming for mm. so that way it it was easy for me to allocate time and do it for uh, in the exam hall itself sir okay and during preparation i went through last 5 years uh, uh, answer, uh, question papers mm. and i saw which all questions are being asked okay. and how they are being asked mm. so with that i had a lot of generic points that can be used for most of the questions mm. uh, so this is how uh, i prepared my strategy sir okay see many people are saying that sir i used to do uh, put a diagram i used to have some tree diagram i used to have some flow chart uh, do you think these things are necessary in the paper it may uh, so i have also heard all of those sir uh, so in when i was writing i didn't have enough time to draw flow charts or to draw diagrams maybe across gs 1 to 4 i may have drawn maybe two diagrams mm. not more than that both the diagram should be in gs 1 mm. because i am very confident in the other three papers i didn't draw anything mm. Uh, so there were two diagrams i drew that was for gs1 okay because uh, for people who can draw fast and present well it is very easy mm. but i was a very uh, content oriented oriented mm. person and uh, i could only write fast mm. so i had to start drawing i was losing minutes mm. so mm. that way i did not underline content because mm. i didn't have time mm. to underline keywords mm. i did not change pens it was a single blue color pen mm. i did not draw diagrams mm. but i ensure that whatever content i'm ri- writing mm. is proper content mm. because i was always targeting for that 4 out of 10 mm. and 6 out of 15 okay not for any bonus marks okay okay because we do all this flow charts diagrams okay. to get those bonus marks okay okay see in the mains examination we have 20 questions yes sir. definitely we, we definitely 20 questions we don't know some yes, questions definitely we it is very difficult to approach see what what is the strategy you you do for difficult questions or uh, some questions we have less point how you uh, approach those kind of questions uh, for the questions i don't have points i write down the points that i have and then to generate new points mm. within that within the limited time in the exam hall okay. my brain would be processing the syllabus sheet mm. so for example let's say there's a question in gs2 mm. if in governance okay if i didn't have a point to write for that mm. then in gs2 governance i know there is poverty uh, health education hunger and then uh, there's a uh, uh, this uh, self help groups mm. voluntary voluntary organizations okay. and all this so all of things all of these are related to any question that is being asked okay so if there's a question on poverty you can link self help groups to poverty mm. and that's one point mm. you can link poverty to education okay because if you are poor you don't have resources okay. to uh, invest on your education okay so that comes in okay. from education can be linked to social mobility okay. or economic prosperity okay. or political empowerment okay so one leads to the other okay. this is all from the syllabus sheet itself okay so by using the topics given in the syllabus mm. i make one topic as one point mm. in in places where i didn't have a solid point to write okay okay so this is the reason so uh, one need to know about the syllabus of every part of the gs uh, then you can if they are struggling they can able to brainstorm the syllabus and they can able to generate point from that yes sir okay. because we have read so much for every mm-hmm. topic in the syllabus mm-hmm. that we have a lot of content okay if there is a spark saying write a point relating this to poverty mm-hmm. write a point relating this to uh, uh india china issue mm. in say even in an economics question mm. Mm. you get that you can bring in foreign exchange trade and then mm. write an economics point mm. from your international relations knowledge okay you just need that pointer to say give me one point 
with this as part okay with this as your stimuli okay, fine 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 okay so what is your suggestion for the uh, people who are going to appear for the prelims in uh, june 5 what is your advice uh, first i would like to tell all of them all the best sir mm. because i know prelims is very uh, hectic it's very tiring and <laughs> there's a lot of emotions that runs during the preliminary exam itself mm. uh, so with respect to prelims i do f- still feel that it is the toughest part of the exam mm. so if anyone anyone writing this exam has to be confident and very calm in the exam hall because there are lots of logical inconsistencies that are present in the wrong answers okay if a calm mind can figure out these logical inconsistencies mm-hmm. using the one year preparation and all the knowledge they have accumulated then i believe prelims is crackable sir okay yes. okay okay shyamadam thank uh, you very much thank you sir and uh, <coughs> all the best for your successful career uh, in the civil service thank you very thank much you. thank you sir thank you